Hi, this is Siang, and today we're going to go over 6th grade worksheet lesson 1231. So, the first topic we're going to go over is solving equations, and it involves equations and equal signs and variables and numbers. So, let's look at number 1. It has 4x equals 12. It has equal sign variable which is which has definition over here which has definition over here and numbers like 4 12 in this case and you have to solve for x over here so by not saying you have to solve for x you have to divide by 4 so the key concept is that you have to leave the variable on the one side of the equation so how do you get rid of 4 because this side, the one that the variable has, is has 4 and x, which is 4 times x equals 12. So you have to get rid of 4. And it, you just divide by 4 to cancel out 4 and leave the x by itself. And the and most important is that you have to divide both sides by 4, or the same number that you're dividing. So... The answer is x and 12 divided by 4 is just 3, right? And always check. So 4x equals 12. And we got x is a 3, right? So 4 times 3. Substitute just 3 in to the x and 12. So 4 times 3 is 12 and 12. So we got the right answer. This is the way you check the answer. See if you got right. So... For number 3, it's 9 equals p over 4, right? And you have to get the p by itself on the one side of the equation. In this case, it's the right side of the equation. So, what you have to do is that multiply by 4. Because 4 over 4 is just 1. The way that I write is the 4 times 4 is... 4p over 4, which is 4 times p over 4, and it cancels out. So you left with just p. So, and like I said, you have to divide or multiply the same number that you multiply. So in this case, which is 4, so I have to divide 4. I mean, I have to multiply by 4 on each side. So... We canceled, out, we canceled out 4 already, so p equals 4 times 9, which is p equals 36. And we can check by 9 equals 36 over 4, and 36, I just substitute the value inside of p. So, and... Most of them are pretty same concept. Yeah, dealing with same concept, and I'll go over number five. Seems simple, but it can be confused. So three equals one n. So it means that one times n is n equal to three, and by the same divided by one. One yeah, one divided by one is just one, and three divided by one is just three. So n is 3, and we can check by 3 equals 1, and n for this one, it can be also written as just 3 equals n, because 1 times n is just n, 1 times 2 is just 2. So there's no meaning putting 1 times in front of any variables or numbers, because the, if you, because no matter how what you divide or what you multiply by one, it's just that number, right? So three is three. I just substitute this in in here. So this is the pretty basic concept of solving equations and let's move on to inequalities. So this one is really, really, really similar to what we just did, which is just think of this as like a plus 7 equal is 
20. What do you have to do to get a by itself? You just subtract, right? a equals 13, right? But this one is equal symbol, and this one is this symbol, and we're deal dealing with inequalities, right? Inequalities. So you have to change equal sign into equality sign, and by the, and it is very simple. A thirteen. Just keep the same. Keep the same. Only exception is that when you divide negative numbers, or when you multiply negative numbers. Multiply or divide negative numbers. That's the only exception that the sign flips. So let's draw a number line and we got 13 right here. So 13 and which is a is greater than and The tip quick tip is that it's pointing this way, right? This way this way So arrow the arrow goes this way. So let's move. Yeah, I'll show I'll show this more example next problem so oh yeah maybe, maybe number two so 4b is equal to 60 60 notice i i how i changed this to equal sign more easier to understand how to solve problems so divide by four to cancel out four and b is equal to one one five fifteen so now what do you have to do? You divide positive numbers so the symbol does not change. The inequality sign does not change. So you just keep it as it is. B is less than 15. So 15. Let's write down 15 on, on the side. And it's pointing this way, right? This way. So error, error goes this way. And which is B is less than over here. This is pretty much basic concept of inequalities and the only exception to remember is dividing, dividing, or multiplying, multiplying, negative numbers, negative numbers. Okay, this one is literally the same thing that we just did, but yeah, so I'll do just one question. So, the weight W is le at least 7,000. At least means that W is greater than or equal to 7,000. At least is that it shows the minimum, minimum amount of the years that W can get. So 7,000, we have this over here, 7,000. And the arrow is pointing this way, so this way, with the circle of closed. Oh, yeah, oh, and this one is open, this one is also open. So, let's quickly go, oh, yeah, quickly go over substituting the numbers in. The equation is given, which is A equals 2B times C. And 385 is equal to 55 times C, which is we don't know. Yeah, which is we don't know. So this is the same format that we did. So 55 divided by 55 to get rid of 55. 55 divided by 385 divided by 55. So the answer is 385 divided by 55 is 7, right? So C is 7. And you can check by just plugging in 7 into the C. 385 is equal to 55 times 7. And which will get 385. Other other problems are pretty much the same, but I think understanding how to solve equations over here is really important. So, I'll see you next time, and thank you!